Hello, hello, my dear friends. How are you all? Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking, and thank you for joining me here uh, on the 21st of February. It's a Monday of 2022. I uh, hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Hope that uh, things are working out for you, that the changes that are happening around you are helping you. We do have, it's like having two sides of the same coin. We either focus very much on the very positive, right, or focus on the very difficult and negative. I would say more so focus towards the magic, the good energies, obviously, Pisces energies, and happy birthday if you are celebrating, my dear Piscean friends. And for those of you that are in the negative, the difficult times with Venus and Mars moving through Capricorn, who, which that energy could be a little bit challenging as they are facing up towards the Plutonian energy. Um, know that whatever is meant to go now in the next few days up until around that you know the beginning of march it's a very important time beginning of march so we'll see what happens up until then but today being the 21st and tomorrow my dear friends the 22nd of the second of 2022 that's really really interesting let's see what the karma dharma is I'd like to say 22 which is in the lenormand it's the path so lots of choices lots of uh Opportunities opening up to make a choice, to leave something that was not for us, to move towards a new cycle pertaining to Venusian matters, values, love, money, worth, whatever that is. If you've been in a relationship where you have not been treasured, it's time to let it go. It's time to make a decision to move forward. And we've got judgment. So yes, we're coming up to a critical moment judgment is a moment of crisis it's a number 20 it's a number 20 there's that number two again two can speak to uh coming together so teaming up two people two halves of a whole right or it can also speak to uh having a choice between two so they are the energies that are playing out tomorrow my dear friends on the 22nd is the first exact uh, Pluto return for the USA and that's a very big cycle Pluto takes 250 approximately years to do the horoscope so that is the first exact conjunction Pluto transiting Pluto on the USA's natal Pluto and we know Pluto is right here there are second chances there's a time of resurrection there's help coming through from spirit okay and that's collectively as well as personally dear friends as long as we've made a choice we're looking for balance right new paths new situations opening up let's see what's going on what are the energies that are playing out and as i'm tuning in i remembered to mention to all of you what is important um those of you that are subscribed to divine debut and because some of you are not receiving the notifications please unsubscribe and subscribe again and press on that notification bell because many of you most of my subscribers are not receiving uh, a notification that I've uploaded and that's been happening a lot and I keep forgetting to tell you that so that's important please unsubscribe and subscribe again and press on that notification bell or check that it's pressed for all notifications all right what's going on dear spirit 21st going towards the 22nd of February of 2022 and I'm saying going towards the 22nd because those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, obviously it's later on in the day when you will receive this message. So what's going on? What's going on, dear spirit? We've got the three of 
cups. We have the queen of uh, uh, fire, which is wands. And we have patience, temperance. Interesting. So someone's hoping or someone's hoping for a reconciliation. They've been hoping for that. Um, they're hoping to have the, uh, you know, be within an environment where this can be possible. Now, there can be also third parties here. We've got we've got the uh, temperance card here, which is Sagittarius, of course, and it's all about, you know, fine-tuning something, needing to be patient, um, hoping to come into balance to heal. So we've got in 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 actual fact three of uh three of cups in the recent past can speak to having had a reconciliation but it can also speak to three people in a situation a group effort an imbalance threes are not numbers of balance are they it's the ability to expand and to be uh to be successful at something uh, pertaining to our emotions, what we love, what we desire to create. Now, the Queen of Wands, uh, fiery, magnetic, attractive, persuasive, um, leader. And we know that she's fire, and fire is uh, impatient. The cards are saying patience, that it's all happening in divine timing. Um, Spirit is here, Archangel Michael is here in two cards saying that you will have what it is that you desire. You will have what you once were successful with. In the past, you've got the power within your own hands and you need to be driven and not, of course, be ready to take action when, the, when you get that green light. When you get the green light, yes. Three of Cups, a group effort, anything to do with community, other people, uh, peop other people that are in the situation, obviously pertaining to maybe even a project that someone believed in, but they haven't actually, it hasn't actually materialized. Spirit is saying, hold on to the faith. There's second chances coming around. Something that you thought um, is not possibly going to happen, there is a rebirth, a resurrection here. This is help and guidance from spirit. Let's see what else we've got. So we've got uh, water. We've got Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Leo. For some of you, Aries, it could be, I suppose. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces and Scorpio more, I would say. Yeah, all the all the water signs. Let's see what was going on. We have the four of swords beneath that. So there has been some sort of a disappointment, a, um, a lack of celebration. Someone's needed to take time out. This is, of course, in the past. Someone's looking for the answers, needing to heal. Six of swords. Someone wanting to leave conflicts, maybe even uh, take a physical trip. Um, something being blocked because there was either information missing or someone had some sort of a health issue, uh, an emotional disappointment. So a lot to do with communication and perception. We've got ten swords here, the four and the... And the six. So some sort of an ending, a difficult ending, where someone needed to... Um, someone did not want to get into a fight here, but they were pulled in and something was shown. Some sort of betrayal was shown pertaining to a third person and that sort of stopped any maybe for some of your possibility for a reconciliation or someone needed to figure things out to, to try and bring in balance there was external noise other people 
four of wands, yeah. Third person may have been uh, someone from their family or it could have been another uh, relationship, right? So someone's stability was rocked in the past. Let's see, Queen of Fire, the Tower, you see. So some sort of a major shift, uh, an awakening has happened for this Queen. Okay, so some sort of an aha moment, but a difficult shift. There's been some sort of an awakening. We could see here she holds a candle, so she's seen the light pertaining to a King of Water, King of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is beneath her. King of Cups, Scorpio energies, a lot of Scorpionic energies. So we could have Aries, Scorpio, because the Tower is Mars. Mars rules Aries as well as Scorpio. So maybe there's been, or there's going to be an aha moment that this Queen is going to have pertaining to her beloved King king of cups maybe even the king of cups has come out of another long-term relationship or partnership ten of cups right a lot of emotions maybe an ending and a new cycle opening up but it's asking for patience we've got the moon so maybe also lots of things will be shown there's uh secretive matters pertaining to one's home maybe even their country of residence, where they live, who, who, you know, what is their environment. The moon does speak to my environment, where I feel safe and happy. This can also speak to an, a possibility of someone wanting to transition to a new home. King of fire, king and queen of wands, and we had a king of cups. This could be two divine masculine and a uh, divine feminine so queen of fire king of fire both in the same type of energy and this could also speak to a king of cups having difficulty in you know speaking from you know their depths their depths and what their heart holds and obviously lots of secrets pertaining to their emotions maybe even matters surrounding their home and their family king of wands very strong very much about leadership uh, passionate desirous maybe also someone who's going to uh, speak openly pertaining to their heart we see the heart here so yes holding on to a lot of secrets pertaining to their you know their situation their emotional situation and maybe also Someone that could be that a divine masculine is coming out, coming out of another connection where they're now going through some healing. They could have air in their chart as well and trying to find balance. But, and this could also be a physical distance because, of course, Sagittarius speaks to two people that make, you know, they. Let's say they hold the same uh, frequencies and they're both, they both desire the same thing, but there's other people involved here and they need to be patient as well. Things will come to light. I mean, the moon card, right? Moon card with, we've got a new moon happening in Pisces, which is in the same area as Jupiter and Neptune coming up in in a few days and that's going to be a magical a magical new moon let's take some Lenormand and see what's going on and maybe uh, the div a divine masculine was a complacent someone that was not taking action needing to heal uh, very fluctuating emotions. Remember that King of Cups here, who's going through an awakening and they're coming through as the King of King of Wands now, but still there's something that they're dealing with 
maybe even waiting for a, a some of you could be waiting on a decision or a second chance at reconciliation uh, someone could be still going through a lot they're not ready to offer or maybe even to take action because there's still some things that are missing let's see what's going on we've got the uh, stalks so there is transition and change and the birds so there's a sense of excitement maybe even nervousness pertaining to changes there's going to be communication now the birds could also speak to other people some gossip here you could be hearing things off the grapevine from others or there's uh, a lot of changes here a lot of news coming in and we've got the tree my dear friends and the tree does speak to family of course it speaks to getting grounded it's something long term something a relationship from the past it can also speak to someone needing to heal emotionally physically now of course the uh, stalks do speak to changes uh, towards something long-standing but there's a lot of nervousness and anxiety and maybe still people, uh, you know, still too many people around. And this could also speak to um, waiting on some information pertaining to, you know, moving towards change, even though it's hard with a tree. It's something that's grounding. Of course, it's something long term as well towards a, a maybe even a spiritual connection someone's going through a lot of growth here a lot of growth let's see we've got eight and three is 11 16 which is the number of the tower what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got the scythe so yes there is something suddenly that is being taken away and ending we've got plutonian energies here someone is trying not to you know someone is wanting to make a hasty decision but it's not it is not advised dear friends this is a warning sign now someone is receiving their karma as well someone is receiving their karma someone is being cut out of the equation scythe so uh, can also speak to a maybe even someone's someone's losing financially because because it's like someone is turning off the tap where their financial help put towards someone else is concerned that could be finances pertaining to a partner so someone going through divorce and therefore obviously uh leaving someone out in the cold financially Now, the, we've got the lily here, and the lily is a pure connection. It's a spiritual connection as well, as well. It's a card that speaks to a lot of love and some sort of happiness. But something needs to end here. Something needs to be cut away to be able to uh, remember what Pluto is. It's like peeling off the layers someone's needing to go through hardships so they could find their happiness right the scythe is a 10 and beneath the stars which is a uh, the stars speak to fame and you know a lot of happiness and uh, it speaks to hope and uh, beautiful energies here pertaining to communication of the past now, it could also say that uh, truthful communication that comes through, uh, there is hope here for some sort of a wish fulfillment. It does pertain to messages, and that will lead over to some sort of an ending and a clearing. So a form of, you know, letting something go, transforming a situation, but going deep, going deep some sort of a burden so some sort of someone had uh, heavy burdens lots of duties something that they did not let them reach for the stars 
and reach a point of fame and recognition and happiness. But we've got uh, Mother Mary energies here. This is purity, but something needs to, and this is sudden. This is very sudden, right? This could also speak to accidents. So be careful where secrecy is concerned. Be careful with information leaking. Do take care. Let's see what, because we've got the birds here, which speaks to gossip. Let's see what the energy oracle holds today. And we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, and it's in the reverse, my dear friends. Number 38. Let's read it quickly. Do stay with us uh, till the end of the reading as we, those of you that are on, that are on Patreon, will have an extra message from Spirit as we always do from now on. Every time we do the messenger is here, Patreon people do get an extra message. So let's read the reversed message. This card reversed indicates that some blocks in the flow of your heart center energy. Perhaps it's an old sense of abandonment or the grief of a broken heart lingering from a long past event. Whether it's recent or not, this blocked energy stops you from caring for yourself and attracting love from others and it can create an undercurrent of unhappiness that permeates your life. It's time to heal the old stuck stuff and move on. Don't bypass the pain and pretend it doesn't exist. Instead, ventilate it in your journal and release it with an intention to be clear, happy and self-loving. So that's what the scythe is all about, my dear friends. It's time to cut something out so that you can heal okay where someone's been deceptive okay some of you are going through an awakening now and maybe uh also this i mean the moon can speak to fears a fear of you know will, will i ever find my balance will i ever receive my dharma king of fire is someone that goes out and gets it this is someone that is not complacent this is someone that takes action and they look i mean fire is all about life isn't it and we've got the king of earth so we've got three kings my dear friends three kings a king of earth uh taurus virgo capricorn uh someone that is very stable something pertaining to a father figure king of earth stable but unwavering i mean someone that will always be there king of earth someone that holds an important position so business owner someone that's got maybe also earth and fire so we've got the uh king of cups and king of pentacles their recessive energies now we've got the uh masculine energies which speaks to someone taking action Someone that's been very patient, very secretive. Uh, it's time to heal the old stuck uh, stuff and move on. Don't bypass the pain and pretend it doesn't exist. Instead, ventilate it in your journal and release it with an intention to be clear, happy and self-loving. I'm going to say if this is someone that you're needing to let go, someone that's blocking your happiness, your energy, of abundance it's time to let them go meditate on the increasing light in your heart center and call on raphael to help bring help healing and clarity there love yourself and give yourself the approval you um you used to need from others so it's time now you don't need the approval from others that's what it says the healing will take place and happiness will return and the happiness obviously speaks to I feel with uh, Venus and Mars moving together through Capricorn as they will meet up with Pluto, uh, a lot will happen from now until the beginning of March. 
so I feel I need to take a couple more cards here we have yeah there's the uh, the coffin so we're needing to put something to to bed to end to let go of something that brought us a lot of nervousness tension anxiety where there's been a lot of gossip um, where there's been too much sacrifice and no action so no changes it's time to put that to to bed so we've got an ending here. There has been an ending. But that ending, uh, that ending that you will put an end to, whatever that is, because the coffin is the end, right? We've got the garden, which speaks to happiness. It's, it's the garden of happiness, isn't it? And it's a number 20, which again does relate to the message. So that you can unblock your potential, the potential to manifest. It's putting something to sleep, to end, and not mulling over that. The possibility is that many doors will open to something that you've, something that could prove to be a long lasting um, reward because the tree is Saturn. In Capricorn right and this could also speak to maybe even a, you know a spiritual awakening that someone either you or the other person is going through which has obviously uh, challenged maybe even your health so you've been going through a lot of darkness here the transition has not been easy maybe even transitioning from one relationship to another maybe even uh, a secretive connection, Scorpio. And we've got the path, the path that opens, 22. So pay attention today, tomorrow, the 22nd of the month, that there will be opportunities here. Choices need to be made. And what do, what does that bring? What does What can that bring? We've got the key, which is a uh, solution. The key is a new home, obviously. The key speaks to uh, and someone is now open. There will be revelations. This is an achievement and a reward, which I just spoke to. And we've got abundance, which is the fish. The fish does speak to the Piscean energy. So, my dear friends, really, really interesting. It's all about choices. It's all about leaving something that was unhealthy and moving on um, that way clearing the blocks uh, that are holding you back and maybe even remember what it said about the fourth chakra clearing out that those wounds and that pain from your heart let's just take these three cards and see three of earth so three pentacles uh, page of cups so there is the ability to manifest and to expand there is an offer coming through an apology maybe and we've got the four of earth. So to me here, we've got the three and the four. The four speaks to someone that was very closed up who is opening up now. Four of earth. Earth is stability. It's grounded. It's something that you've always hoped for. Someone could be coming through with uh, communication pertaining to something that they kept from you. This could also speak to the ability now to move towards a more steady um situation whether it's business or even though it's the miser card it's still we're transitioning from the three to the four so yes we've been going through a difficult change a difficult corner piscean energies uh, expect offers apologies get togethers Okay, we've got the little uh, seahorse here, which does speak to luck. We've got very lucky transitioning uh, and planetary gifts that are coming through. Uh, and I think I will leave it there. Wishing you all well. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. Uh, thank you for being here. I will talk to you soon.
Ta-da.